Hey 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 welcome to another tutorial by Morales. My name is Bharat and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you could leverage Morales to build a mini portfolio app. And we're going to do this by making use of our extended RPC methods that is present in Morales infrastructure and I'll be showing you how we can get started. So before we get started I'm just going to give you a quick run through of what we're building. So essentially this is just a sample application where you can put in a given wallet address and it basically displays you all the ERC20 tokens which are owned by a given wallet address and you also have the ability to exclude scam tokens and if you want to query this until a specific block number you can do that as well so like you can see here for my wallet address I just queried and uh, it shows me what are all the tokens present and uh, I have filtered out all the scam tokens so these are all the tokens which are present and the cool thing over here is we're basically building this with just one RPC API call ETH underscore get token balances. So if you were to do this with any traditional RPC infrastructure, uh, either this would not be even possible or you would have to make tons of RPC calls and you would have to actually maintain a database where you are tracking what are all the ERC20 tokens which are available out there and you would have to query the get balance function each one of them. But with Morales, you could just do this in a single RPC call and uh, like I'll show you in this video how you could build this, you'll basically see what exactly Morales' extended RPC methods lets you do. Uh, so let's get started. So to get started, uh, let me just give you a quick overview about Morales. So Morales basically provides you uh, with a one-stop platform for your crypto data. Like you can see, you can get all sorts of crypto data with Morales, letting you build block explorers or wallets, portfolio apps, essentially everything. And uh, like you can see right here, if you're a dev, uh, the first thing you would have come across is RPC node infrastructure. And compared to traditional RPC infrastructure, Morales basically has much better response times and is fully SOC 2 type 2 certified, letting you directly integrate our RPC nodes and also leverage our extended RPC methods, which are essentially exclusive RPC APIs, which are only possible or provided by Morales infrastructure. So to get started, you can just log in. And uh, once you have logged in, you'll basically be able to see the entire platform. Uh, like you can see here, we would have to go into the node section and you can basically seamlessly create an RPC node for any of our supported chains. So to create a new node, you just get into create new node, select a protocol. So I've already created for Ethereum mainnet, but I'm going to create another one. And once you've created Ethereum mainnet, now we can click on create node and there you go. So you can see right here, this is our RPC node URL and uh, that essentially lets you query this URL for any sorts of RPC API calls, including our ex extended RPC API calls. So let's get started and let's copy this URL. Before that, I would say definitely you would have to check out our documentation in order to understand what exactly are our extended RPC methods. So just to give you a quick summary of our extended RPC methods, essentially these are extra RPC methods apart from all the EVM JSON RPC methods that are supported by a typical EVM compatible chain. Extended RPC methods are custom methods which were built by Morales in order to uh, make it a lot more easier for devs who are building on top of any chains to get a specific data directly to their uh, uh, to their endpoint or use case. So like you can see here some of the available extended RPC methods are ETH underscore get transactions ETH underscore get decoder transactions and let me add you can't really do this without uh, with, with just traditional RPC infrastructure because there is no RPC method available for you to get all the transactions by a wallet address and it was basically a very complex task to get it. So like you can see over here uh, we'll be focusing our demo around ETH underscore get token balances and this particularly gets you the ERC20 token balances by the wallet address. So if you want to quickly try out our RPC, uh, our JSON RPC extended RPC APIs, you can go into our docs and just go into the extended RPC section. Let's go into ETH get token balances. And here you can basically test the API live straight through the docs itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the platform. We're going to copy the key. So I'm going to reset the node. So once you have done this, uh, copy the key, then you go back into our docs. You can paste your API key right here. Yep, I've done that. And now we're basically uh, going to query the balances for this particular address. We're going to exclude the spam tokens and we're going to uh, call up to two, uh, this particular block number. 
so now to execute this you can just hit test live api and uh, okay i think this particular wallet address does not have any tokens on eth mainnet so what we can do is we're going to take my uh, wallet address and we're going to go back onto the docs and i'm going to change the address to this and i'm going to check up to the current block and we're going to exclude the spam tokens so now when you test our live api you can see i get a json response that basically shows me what are all the tokens present in my wallet and uh, this level of comprehensive information you also get the logo the decimals for that erc20 token whether the contract is verified or not on the block explorer and also the total supply of that uh, token and it also gives you a formatted total supply uh, which essentially is tuned up to the decimal value of it so these are the tokens which are basically present and we are going to be integrating this particular rpc api to get all of the rc20 token balances so coming back to our react app uh, this is just a basic react app that makes an rpc api call which is ETH get token balances to our ethereum mainnet node which we have just created and now to set this up i'm going to walk you through the code so um, this is the react component for our front end essentially over here you can see this is where the rpc api call happens and over here what i'm doing is we're making an rpc call to our uh morales rpc node url and this is basically being read from the env so if you are uh, following this tutorial, what you could do is you could just clone the repo and uh, follow the env.example, copy that and create a .env and just replace it with your Morales RPC node URL, you'll be able to run the app. And uh, over here, you can see these are some state variables we're using uh, to capture the address, whether or not you want to filter by certain ERC20 token addresses, whether or not you want to exclude scam tokens and a two block up to which you want to basically get the uh, token balance for so uh, this is where the rpc call basically happens these are the options which we are setting and we're using fetch to make that rpc call so once we get the result from the api we're going to set that onto our result uh, variable and basically from the result variable we are reading everything to display on our uh, balances so like you can see we are mapping the result and we are creating a table where we are showing the token logo symbol balance verified or not and whether it's a spam token or not and uh, let's try this out again for a different wallet address perhaps so i'm just going to go into etherscan again let's pick another uh, wallet address this one and let's go into this and let's do this now when we do this we're gonna get okay what are all the tokens so like you can see here it has basically shown us all the tokens which are basically present for this given wallet address which basically is holding like a lot of shit tokens i'd say and uh, yeah once uh, all of this is just in one rpc call which you can again uh, verify by just opening up the console and you go into the network tab and uh, if we try it again you'll see that this was just one rpc call that we made over here and it's made to our rpc node with the payload and uh, you can get the response completely for this particular wallet address so that's essentially how you can integrate our eth get token balances api to build your first uh, mini portfolio app and uh, i'd say you should definitely explore our documentation and you can reach out to us on discord if you're facing any issues and in integrations and i'm excited to see what you guys are building uh thank you